Hello guys and welcome back on the dap world in the previous tutorial we have set up the local test environment for solana and in this tutorial we will be initiating the anchor project so anchor is the framework for testing debugging deploying the solana programs on blockchain if you are familiar with the ethereum development then think it as the hard hat or truffle for solana before initiating the project make sure you have anchor installed or else you can follow the instructions from the installation topic of this course let's initiate the anchor project with the following command anchor init and the project name you can add the project name in front of init or leave it as it is now this command will create one folder with the project name that we have entered If you have successfully initiated the anchor project, let's understand its structure and the files. You can open the folder in your favorite code editor. The project structure look like this. You can see we have several folders and files here. Let's see what's going on here. App folder will be empty and we are not required to do any changes in the migrations, so keep it as it is. In the programs, you will find the src folder and one lib.rs file. This is the file where we will be writing our Solana program and then cargo.toml. This is the file that lists the dependencies of the Rust just like node package.json file. Then the next file is anchor.toml. This is where we have some project information like cluster network, program ID, registry URL, wallet path and test script. Now the default cluster is local net but suppose if you want to test or deploy on dev then you should change this here Another thing is program id you can think it as the smart contract address Now unlike other blockchains Solana programs are upgradable which means if you have deployed Solana program once at xyz address then you can upgrade its code instructions at the same address So this is how you can initiate the anchor project and start with the Solana programming. After this, we can start testing with anchor test and deploy with anchor deploy commands without worrying much of what's happening. Now let's run the following command: anchor test. Make sure you are not running the Solana test validator, otherwise it will conflict with the anchor. This will take some time for the first time, and at the end you may get some error like failed to run the test. but as long as you get the success message you are good to go so that's it guys in the next part let's start writing the solana program see you in the next tutorial